All right. Um, so, ladies and gentlemen, the first thing we're going to talk about is a rotation. Now, we're going to be dealing with right now for these next couple video sets. I'm going to be talking about rotations in the counterclockwise direction. Okay. So, counterclockwise direction rotation. So, remember, if we have a a fixed point, right? We're going to rotate in the counterclockwise direction, which is going to be to the left. Now. When in this problem that we're going to be talking about, we're going to have our fixed point is going to be at the origin. Okay? And unless another point is designated as the fixed point, you can assume that your origin will be your point of um, reflection or your point of rotation. All right? Unless there is another point that you are told to reflect around, or I'm sorry, rotate about, you can assume that the origin will be your point of rotation. OK? This will be your fixed point. So now I need to rotate this counterclockwise. Now, by rotating this counterclockwise, I know I'm going to reflect on this point, And I know it's going to go in that direction. Everybody agree with me? Right? Because that's in the counterclockwise direction. Right? We keep on rotating. That's counterclockwise. So I'm going to rotate this line counterclockwise. Now, this sometimes gets a little difficult. Reflections. What's kind of easy, you just took it and you like flipped it over, right? But we also showed you guys how to do the x, y with that, right? You could find the x, y, make one of them negative, or make both of them negative, and so forth. A slide was pretty easy. You just find the transformation vector. Rotation's a little bit difficult. But to help you with rotations, I'm going to help you out. We also have something we can do for each one of our coordinates, which is an x, y, um, which is an x, y. So if I have a point x, y, and I want to reflect it, 90 degrees counterclockwise. So this only is for 90 degrees, not really. Only degrees counterclockwise. We'll talk about. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to swap the y and the x, kind of like when we reflected um, the y equals x line. But then I'm going to now make the y negative. Okay. So let's go ahead and take a look at how we can do this. So let's look at our points. So we have p. p is at negative 3, negative 1. So if I follow this rule for a 90 degrees counterclockwise, I now have p prime is going to be 1 comma negative 3. Does everybody see that or have any questions? The next one. Let's go and look at q. q is at negative 2 comma negative 5. So now that turns to um, 5 comma negative 2. Oh, sorry. That's q prime. OK. So now let's go and plot these new points. So our new points is going to be 1 comma 3, 1 comma 3, and then 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, negative 2. So that's what the rotation of 90 degrees looks like. Would everybody agree with that? Or everybody's like, how does that, how did you know how to do that? And you know, that looks kind of weird, right? So how else can we decide if that is correct? Well, another way, ladies and gentlemen, that we can do that as remember I told you, you guys can take something on a fixed point, right? If you have something and you know your, where your fixed point is, then you can just reflect about your fixed point, right? As long as that fixed point does not move, you are rotating. And I know it's kind of moving on me, but you just want to keep that stationary. So one thing that I like to tell students, you know, if you're having trouble seeing this or where it's really coming from, um, what I would tell you to do is go ahead and rip out a sheet of paper and practice on your own. Just make sure you know where your fixed point is. So let's go ahead. If you were to take a sheet of paper out, and I know you guys um, have on here, but if I was to redraw this, I would have Q or P and Q right here. And here's my fixed point, right? So if I was going to rotate this 90 degrees, it looks something like this. Now, is that what my graph looks like on the other side? Right? Yeah, that's exactly where it is. All right? So draw the figure 
Make sure you use the fixed point and then rotate it 90 degrees counterclockwise. OK? So that's number one. Oh, I didn't go over everything. Yes? So you want me to stop instruction?